Hello and welcome to the 28th PHP tutorial where we left off we were connecting to our server and now we want to connect to the database within our server. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, it's pretty simple from there. What you're going to want to do is specify the database itself. So we're going to call this SQLDB and our SQLDB uh, is called epic name and then from there we'll go ahead and, and uh, come down here and actually uh, since we're going to call this server and then uh, we'll do um, my SQL underscore select underscore database or DB and within there you specify the database that you want to connect to in our case we gave it a variable so SQL DB and then if it can't we want to just or die and then within the die we want to just say, uh, especially since we silenced uh, the uh, SQL error, if we got one, failed to connect to the database. So from there, we'll do that. And if that, uh, if both of these um, happen and we don't get any uh, errors, we're going to go ahead and echo uh, connected. Oh, I'm sorry, we've already echoed connected. So we'll save that and put that up. And actually, let's do connected because our last time we left off with um, just a regular connected. So we want to make sure that we've made progress. So we'll refresh. Sure enough, we connected with exclamation mark. So now uh, that we've done that, from here, uh, when you try to work with a database, you're going to usually what you're going to do is you're going to connect to uh, your database and you're going to use like a select. So you do select from, and then you put the table name. And so that's going to vary from time to time. So what we're going to go ahead and do, so if you have a large um, website, chances are you're going to have multiple tables within your database. So it's always best to um, specify that um, as a case-by-case -case basis. But for the purposes here, you're always going to be connecting to the same database, most likely. So what most people are going to do is actually, this won't be in the file, like in every PHP file that might connect to a database. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're going to make a connect.php file on our server. So I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll open that up. And so that's just a blank PHP page, but what we're going to do is copy paste this in and this will now be our connect.php so then what we'll do is we'll come over here after our header we're going to go ahead and require uh, connect.php so that's going to require all of this code so no longer do we need all of this code in our PHP tutorials so we'll save both of these and upload back to the server and just to make sure everything went smoothly uh, see, we got an error. Hold on, let's see. I... Oh, right, we need to get rid of this header.php or uh, the header file within connect. So we'll re upload that. Let's try one more time. There we go. So now everything worked well. We're connected and we're on the server. So now let's discuss um, how to kind of communicate back and forth with the database. And this is going to be using uh, starting with select. So now I'll actually begin our query. So we're going to uh, call um, the query SQL. And SQL, for now, what we're just going to do is we're going to say select. And we're going to select everything. So we're going to use a star sign. And from, and then here you specify the name of the table. In our case, we named it epic table. And be careful, these are. Um, tildes so the thing above your tab key not a um, you know a single quote it's a tilde so you select all from table and um, for our purposes that's where we're going to close it off but then there's also like where um, and then you can say like a something equals something like a one of the categories equals something or and then there's also order by and you can order by um, like ID or time and then ascending or descending. But for now, we're just going to show. You, I'm just going to show you uh, pulling from the database 
and you know kind of displaying that data and then also I'll show you how to insert into a database just for the basics so the next thing we want to do um, this is like basically what we want to query now we need to specify the actual query itself so we're going to say query is going to equal a um, my SQL underscore query and what we want to do is we're just going to call SQL and then what we want to go ahead and do is we'll just say if that fails we'll just do or die and we're going to say um, query failed okay. and then otherwise let's go ahead and echo uh, query success once uh, we have everything set we'll probably not keep um, spawning these success uh, things we'll just kind of um, only echo out something if we fail but it's just good for debugging purposes to make sure okay we did get past you know and got to this point so let me put this up and we come over here we refresh and sure enough we connected and query success so since we know our connection uh, works and if it doesn't we're gonna die we'll go ahead and delete this from our connect uh, .php page. We're just going to change that and I'm just going to close out of that connect now that we're uh, done editing it and so now we know that we've at least made it um, this far because we've got query success. So now what do we do? Well generally you're going to want to um, pull some data because right now we've just kind of selected it now we want to do something with it. So you can almost see this as like you know you, you, you've highlighted the, the information you want but highlighting it doesn't really do anything. Now let's actually like do something. So let's go ahead and call a while loop. So we'll say um, wow, and within here, and then we'll, we'll just set it up. You know how to do a while loop. Um, within our parameters, we're going to specify a variable. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it row because that pretty much applies to what it is. While row is equal to my SQL underscore fetch underscore um, ASSOC for fetch an associative array um, we want to perform uh, the query so what this is going to do is as long as the row equals uh, fetch an associative array um, we want to perform the following loop so as long as this is true because um, this will throw a false uh, once we've ran out of rows so as long as it's true, what we want to say is we're going to just go ahead and say the name, you can call this anything you want, but uh, we're going to call it name, equals, and then since it's an associative array, it's not uh, denoted by its uh, like 0, 1, 2, 3, it's denoted by, you know, you've got, a, you've got a, a key and a value. So number name is going to equal row, which is talking about our array, and then we've got the uh, key of name. Um, the next we have uh, age and that's going to equal row with a key of age. So each time this loops through the information that's under the category of name will go under the name variable and each category or each um, thing that's under the category of age will go into the age variable. And to just show this let's echo um, name Actually, let's make this kind of cool. Um, users name is, and then we'll uh, add dollar name, and then we'll say, and their age is space, and we'll append age to that. So each time this loops through, it's going to say what the person's name is and their age. And for the purposes here, I've uh, added two, two rows, basically, to our um, database. So it's going to echo out two different rows for us. And what we'll go ahead and do, let's actually also append a uh, break to this. So we'll save that and run it. And so we see query success, uh, which we can remove now. And so now it says user's name is Harrison and their age is 99. User's name is Jackie and their age is 55. So as you can see, we've looped through um, our database of information. So now let me, since I got rid of that, let's refresh it again. So yeah, there you go. 
So anyways, yeah, that's that's reading from the um, database. And again, you can, there's also what you could say where, um, say you had like multiple entries about Harrison, like you had multiple Harrisons and you wanted to know each Harrison's age. You could say like where, um, something like uh, where uh, name equals Harrison. And then you can also order by, and then if you had time or ID, you could order by ID, ascending, descending, and so on. Um, but for now, again, we're just going to do the basics. So that's what we have so far. And in the next tutorial, we'll be discussing how to input data into a database. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time.